Hi there. So, you have LumineView installed and you are ready to start bringing your ideas to life. What can it do? And how do you do it? Don't worry, we got you covered. LumineView is your rendering companion that will provide live rendered feedback to your design choices. In this video, we'll go over the features and tools so you can get the most out of it. Upon opening SketchUp and launching LumineView, you will see your viewport, which will sync to your SketchUp view and display your model in a fully ray traced environment. Let's briefly cover the UI. On the top right hand side, we have the account button with our license information. The pin allows you to keep the rendered viewport on top of the other windows. The view cube is clickable and allows you to quickly shuffle between angles, elevations or a plan view. Next to it, there are two buttons. The camera sync toggle, which stops or starts the connection to the SketchUp camera. and the perspective autographic switch. Great for blueprints, scaling, or technical drawings. You can navigate the Lumion View model space as well. At the bottom, you will see a help button that displays the controls and explains the UI layout. Now that we covered the functional part, time to take a look at the rendering related settings. On the left, the environment button sets the atmosphere and has some familiar controls for changing the sun direction, Height, and sky brightness. If you want to isolate your model from the environment, you can also toggle the background to a solid color. Presets are available, but you can always set the color that you need. Visual styles are helpful during the iterative design process. If you're still making decisions about your final design, the clay, maquette, styrofoam, and glossy styles can be used to assess lighting conditions, volumetrics, or spatial quality of a space. The color picker is also available here. We can also enable edges which come with similar presets and a color picker option. We'll get back to the export tab later. Now let's take a look at what you can do in SketchUp. Lumion View has custom lights and materials that are synced in the render. Point lights, spotlights and area lights can be placed in your project. When copy-pasted, they will act as instances of each other. Meaning that if you modify the brightness or any other setting in the Lumion View light panel, this will be applied to all the instance lights. Holding down Shift will give you more precision when adjusting the settings. Lights can also be assigned a different color from the SketchUp Material panel. Just select the lights and apply a solid color using the paint bucket tool. And speaking of the material panel, SketchUp 2025 brought a new feature now supporting PBR maps. You can modify the settings of the color, opacity, metalness, roughness, and normal, which will be reflected in Lumion View, as all material management takes place in SketchUp. As an added bonus, emissive strength can also be set in the Lumion View panel for the standard material. Assigning a material from the glass category in SketchUp will automatically set the surface to glass in Lumion View, where you can easily adjust the reflectivity or make it volumetric. 
Also, using water in the naming of a material will automatically set it to water in Lumion View, allowing for the wave scale and reflectivity to further be tweaked. Finally, when we are happy with our settings and style, we can render them out from the Render to File tab. Simply select the desired resolution and aspect ratio. Then render to file and give it a name. Select the file type and hit save. In no time at all, your renders will be ready. You can then open the folder to view them or copy it to a clipboard for easy sharing. Quick, easy and impressive renders, perfect for your design iterations. So, what are you waiting for? Jump on in and try it out for yourself. I'll see you next time.